going on YouTube? Back again with another video right off the bat. My Model Y performance is in the shop getting its Expel Stealth put on. So we're gonna be using the wife's 21 Model Y long range to go ahead and check out some of these easy mods that are creative, fun, and really easy to do. Here's the first one from our friends over at Test Studio. It is the Model T7 ambient light, which is pretty much the easiest ambient light you are ever going to find for a Tesla Model Y or Tesla Model 3. It has a spot to charge Apple iPods or AirPods, I should say. It has a spot to tell the time, uh, the date, also to choose colors and whatnot and effects and it leaves a spot open to charge your phone all using the oem chi charger so let's go ahead and open this up and inside you will find literally just one thing and it's this the unit itself no wires no no nothing to it it just uses the chi charger to connect and as you can see back here Here's the specs on it. I guess it is patented, which is, go, go ahead and figure. So, easy install. Watch this. It's installed. Simple as that. And there we go. Really not much to it. Showing you where it goes up here. It does take up the entire space around the Qi charger and the RGB goes up uh, almost all the way uh, but it does roll very fluidly it's not a um, a choppy type of LED or whatnot it's pretty pretty good uh, quality I should say uh, especially for the price point and it does go ahead and charge the AirPods or EarPods accordingly as you can see um, does give that charging notification right there blue and red it looks like um, not sure if that's supposed to be or if it should just be blue or red or whatnot but it does show it as charging um, these are actually full so that could be why that's doing that as well but it does charge them which is great little little spot they do make third-party uh, devices and whatnot you can get an Etsy or whatnot to just sit right here and hold it in place I actually have one in my vehicle uh, but it actually works pretty well just to go ahead and put there and charge easy enough um, settings are pretty straightforward let's go ahead and get to some here is the screen right off the bat which you can either do uh, military time and the clock is set and the date is set or you can go ahead and use this clock right here either one you could go ahead and press right here like a stopwatch if you press right at the top on that button that's where you go ahead and set things up really easy not hard to do kind of finicky to get back out of it but next we have the color options which you can see is a rainbow effect, white, green, blue, red, yellow, purple, or kind of a teal, uh, aqua type color. Those are preset, so if we go ahead and press on that, it would change. I have it on roll, so it's gonna have this effect no matter what. You'll see what I mean in a second. And here are the effects. Breathe, voice, roll, and light. So if we have it on breathe, it does just that kind of a breathing effect voice would be for music and whatnot it hears my voice so it's bugging out wigging out um, definitely you can set the sensitivity to you can see I'm speaking a little louder so it hears it but I have the sensitivity at five right now and you see what it's doing now imagine you're listening to the radio um, due to copyright stuff not gonna do that roll was what we were on before little roll effect RGB streamer type thing then we have just the light mode which is this right here so let's go ahead and 
get out of here. And if we slide over more, you can see the ambient light state, which is the color, the effect, the rest screen, and then the coating, the RGB coating for the color, which is blue. Um, not sure what really what rest screen does, but here we have the brightness, which is on 10, which is extremely bright. It's daytime out and it's pretty bright. Uh, before, sound control is exactly what I was talking about earlier. The higher you have it, the more it'll be in effect listening to music and whatnot and so on and so forth. Pretty much that's all there is to this. It's a really simple device. I put my, my phone on here. If you if your phone charges on the Qi charger, it'll charge on this. This is taking up nothing, and there's actually a little lip right here that your phone can slide down in. I have a Magback case on mine. Charges perfectly. You can see where my outline of my phone is and my wife's phone. We have the same exact phone, which is iPhone 15 Pro. Easy enough. I mean, this is... This is what it is from Test Studio. They sent this out free to show the world, and here it is. If you like lighting, you like little things like this, this is for you. If you don't, it's not. I think it's pretty cool. I like lighting. It's something I'd use now and then. Definitely would store it away every now and then as well. Um, oh, one last thing. Press this button, almost like an old school iPhone it turns it off so that's it in a nutshell head over to test studio use code j the dev at checkout you can save up to 20 percent on your entire car as we speak so thank you test studio for sending this out great little product they they're putting out awesome products can't speak highly enough for them so again thanks share this video and until the next one see ya